What's going on, y'all? Wolf, back at you again with another reaction. Alright, so before we move on to these Bleach episodes, I am 10 episodes ahead on the Patreon. So, uh, if you want to watch those instead, with the full reaction available, of course, make sure you click the link down below in the description. You know what I'm saying? So, Muramasa's master has been revealed! And his name is Koga, which I'm pretty positive that was the name of one of the, of the Pokemon Gym Trainer leaders in the original Pokemon series. Koga. And he was the leader of the Toxic Gym, or the Poison Gym. If, if you guys know what I'm talking about, Leave a like, leave a comment, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> but yeah, man. So his name is Koga. He's looking pretty old. I mean, he's probably, I don't know how long he's been in that coffin. Um, but he's looking pretty uh, dried up. Like there's no blood flowing through him. So I don't know how Muramasa is going to activate him. He's, uh, Koga opened his eyes, but he's probably pretty weak, right? Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, what, I don't know what Muramasa has to do really to activate him back. Um, but uh, it's kind of reminding me of uh, those old uh, vampire movies where they would have to, you know, they, they receive blood, they're all shriveled up, and then uh, they give them a little blood and then they're all uh, young and human again. So I think that's what, and when is going to do something like that to, to fully activate, activate Koga. Um, but also, because Muramasa's master was revealed, I think, and this is a theory, I think Byakuya maybe knew Koga in the past, and perhaps Koga did something dirty to Byakuya so the reason why Byakuya has been rocking with Muramasa this whole time is, is to release Koga so Byakuya can get his ones back uh, I don't know what Koga did I don't even know if he did anything but uh, if he did that's the reason why Byakuya is doing what he's doing you know what I'm saying so that's what I believe otherwise what the hell are you doing Byakuya right <laughs> that would that's like the only logical thing that I can think of of why Byakuya has been helping Muramasa this whole time so I think that's it, okay? Um, what else, what else? Uh, Chad, Odehime, uh, and Ishida put up a good fight. You know, they did their best. You know what I'm saying? Actually, Ishida went head up against Senbon Zakura in Bankai form, and is doing not too bad. So, that's nice to see Ishida doing work. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, Koga has been released. The squad is here. Uh, Muramasa has, has claimed that he is the strongest Shin Shinigami to have ever lived. Um, that's a stretch because we know we know Captain Yamamoto is supposed to be the strongest. So either Muramasa's cap, or he could be telling the truth. And in, in any case, we're about to find out right now. So let's go ahead and get into it. These are Bleach episodes 251, 250, and 251. Make sure you like, subscribe. Let's go, bro. Just that is the elder Kyuchiki. Yes. And that's Koga. Wait. Father? What? Koga is a Kuchiki? Whisper, Muramasa. Nice. Nice. So, hey, he's just super effective against any Shinigami with his Anpakuto because he just takes control of it. <laughs> That's a bad matchup. Wow. Killing them with their own Zanpaktos. That is rough. Oh, they just adopted him, like Rukia. Mm. So Rukia wasn't the first time that they actually did it. The heart? That was an answer I was not expecting from Elder Kuchiki. You know? 
Because I view the, the Kachiki as a very, you know, straightforward, strict family. Not, uh, not really an, uh, a subjective group of people, you know what I'm saying? But he said the heart, you know? <laughs> Like he was a star. What happened? Mm. Maybe he notices that Koga maybe enjoys killing people, you know? Yoi. All right, here's, here's his chance. Here's his one shot, one opportunity. He does Koga does seem a little bit bratty, you know, wanting the fucking <laughs> approval and, uh, you know, recognition. I couldn't give two shits about those two things. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Shit. He's got, he's got more moves. Oh, he materialized him. What the fuck? Oh wow. Damn, I wonder what I wonder what Koga's Bankai is, if he has one. <clears throat> oh, shit. Yeah, but they attacked us! Oh, they're trying to frame him. Yeah. They're trying to frame him. Assholes, man. Why? Fucking... Liar! Liar, Holmes! Come on, man. A lot, you know what I'm noticing? A lot of people in Soul Society are fucking tools. <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? They need to upgrade their staff. Well, I, I know that this was a long time ago, but you know what I'm saying. Oh no. Are they trying to make me feel bad for Koga now with these backstories? Kinda am. People were just mad because he was so goddamn strong. Although it seems like he doesn't have any empathy, which is yeah, something every hero needs, really. Oh my god. That's a lot. Oh my god. Damn. That's when he went rogue. A hundred years and his sword gets sealed? <laughs> Loki, I might have done the same shit. <laughs> Fuck y'all, man. Are you serious? Damn. But is one of the real ones. It's a pretty good fucking sword. I mean, at this point, might as well, we're rogue. <laughs> Koga. 
どれだけこの時を待ったことかあの時の志今こそ果たそうぞまさあいオッケー。I was not expecting that one. Hello? <laughs> Wait, he just let you free, asshole. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. There you are. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, y'all did. Fuck is that? Who's that woman? They're celebrating. Drinking sake and shit. Fuck those guys, man. <clears throat> He's being honest right now. That was the moment. This is the moment where it became evil Koga. <laughs> what was that? Uh, what is that technique? Is that a keto? Same power as Matara? <laughs> or Toby, I should say? Whoa. Rock music. Oh, he's went on a fucking killing spree after that. Okay. How does Muramasa feel about all this? Can't hear him. Why can't we hear him? That means the connection is weakening, right? If he can't hear him? Oh no, that's bad. Yep, didn't work. The connection is weak, dog. Yeah, you, you gotta get a new Ethernet cable. Damn. The two old dudes? That's a hell of a combo. I hate that false sense of justice. I must punish all for this one thing. I fucking hate that, dude. He's just griefing everyone. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Koga, come on, man. Bleach, fade to black. Hey, I'm watching that movie next. Go figure. <laughs> Was it after this arc? I mean, Koko's a good example of what happens when you fucking just... When you shun a loner 
you know? All they want is approval and recognition and whatnot. But, um, if you don't give them it, stuff like this happens, like, in the real world, for real, for real. You know? I'm not excusing his actions at all, I'm just saying that's, that's what happened to him. He's not coming out to help. Muramasa didn't want to help, bro. Or rather, Muramasa can't hear Koga because now their ideals are too far apart. They're not connected as, as close as they used to be, right? Damn. That would make sense as to why Koga fucking stabbed him in Masa immediately after <laughs> after he freed him from his from his coffin. Whoa. It's fire. Oh, oh. Shit. Sealed up. Damn, that was the last time that Koga was active. He must be pissed, bro. Is that his wife? Or who is that? Damn, bro. Oh, shit. He couldn't hear him. What an interesting filler. I'm glad I watched this. The relationship between Zanpakuto and the Shinigami. I understand it a lot more now. This honestly seems canon, if I'm gonna be honest. Just because of that fact alone. Damn! Why? <laughs> Why am I feeling sad for Muromasa? Muromasa. <laughs> That's crazy. Byakia. Okay, now we're gonna learn how Byakia is tied to this. Okay. Well. Yeah. No. I am very glad I watched this filler arc. I definitely... I mean, I understood it before. I understood there was, you know... The Zanpakuto's basically had a mind of their own. Um, and the closer your relationship to your Zanpakuto, the more the more powerful you are. I understood that, but this arc definitely enhanced that feeling even more. Your Zanpakuto... You gotta get along with your Zanpakuto. If you don't, you can't hear their, you can't hear the call anymore. That's exactly what happened with Muramasa and uh, Koga. The Koga became more evil and evil. Muramasa just wanted, you know, he wanted to, to be loyal, but I mean, the lifestyle Koga was living, obviously he did not agree with, right? He wanted to start a new life, a new peaceful life rather, maybe perhaps, or just a different life. Um, or Koga wasn't a fucking mass murderer. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he couldn't hear his call. And um, honestly, now I'm feeling bad for Muramasa. He's... I don't know how long he's been spending trying to get his master back, um, but he tried, he did it, he succeeded, but the first thing his master did was stab him in the fucking stomach. So, yeah, I am, I am kind of feeling bad for Muramasa. Um, the true bad guy is in front of us, Koga. Even though what, what, what the dude did to Koga was wrong, they basically framed him. 
Um, it's not what uh, it's not what happens to you. It's what you do about what's what happens to you. That's some kind of quote somewhere that I heard, right? So it's it's not about the mistakes you make. It's what you do after the mistakes, right? It's how you handle them. And Koga did not handle it very well. After that, he after that he just became a mass murderer. That's pretty much what happened. You know, he got fucked. He didn't know how to handle it. He didn't know how to, he didn't know how to answer the controversy. And that's what happened to him. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, anyway, the bad guy is here. Also, I hope we find, now that we know Koga was actually, he's a, he was a Kuchiki, he was an adopted Kuchiki, much like Rukia was. Now, hopefully we find out um, how Byakuya is tied to Koga. Because there's definitely some kind of connection there that we're not aware about. They didn't show Byakuya in the, in the, uh, in the backstory like I thought they would. So, uh, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, it must have had, it must have been something to do with that lady that, um, that Ginrei was talking to. That was either uh, Koga's mom or Koga's wife. Um, if, uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it, it was something like that. But I think Byakuya has something to do with that lady. And then, some, something, something like that, bro. Something like that's going on. Byakuya is tied to Koga somehow. And I guess we're now going to see Byakuya maybe take out Koga. Right, because that, that that must have been his goal, right? So, anyway, fire. I'm loving this filler arc. Uh, obviously, after this filler arc is over, which I believe is over in, in a couple episodes here, in a few episodes here, I'll be watching the Fade to Black movie. Um, so that you, you can expect that after I'm done with this filler arc, which should be soon. And then, of course, after the Fade to Black movie, I will be watching the Reggae filler arc because you guys you, you guys have voted on that as well. And then after that. Um, you know, you, you guys can tell me what other Bleach videos you want to watch. I will watch the ones that are most requested, that are most commented, that are most liked. So just know that. Otherwise, the final Bleach video that I will be making uh, will be the Bleach review video uh, that I have made so far for all of the animes that I finished. And so far, I've only finished two animes technically. That is OG Naruto and Hunter x Hunter. Um, uh, got a high school too, but I didn't feel like making a review for that because it was only 13 episodes and uh, it wasn't, it was, it was me, <laughs> also. Um, but yeah, so uh, expect that. Uh, in that video, in that Bleach review video, I will be talking about my, I will be talking about all my favorite stuff. Best girl, you know, best waifu, fucking uh, best Zanpakuto, my favorite Zanpaktos, favorite Bankais, favorite Resurrection, favorite Espadas, favorite characters, favorite arcs, favorite techniques. All that stuff that should be a really fun video to make but again that would be the last bleach video and of course making that video will also be very fun but it will also be very sad because i'm well aware a lot of most of you are actually here because of bleach i know my shibboden reactions are, are starting to pick up and receive traction but uh, i will definitely not forget bleach um because uh yeah that's where that's how my channel really got jump started really so anyway i appreciate y'all okay i fuck with y'all um, but hey, uh, some of those things can already, can already be found on my Patreon because I am five days ahead of my Patreon with the full reactions available, of course. So if you want to watch those instead, go ahead and click the link down below in the description. Other than that, y'all have a good one. I'll see you on next Bleach Reaction. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I'm out of here. Right. Peace.